Hey guys, Masha here from Masha Plants and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing something really exciting. I am going to review Zebra Matte Liner Brush Pens. That's a new line from Zebra and I am pretty excited to give them a try because if you guys ever saw my Instagram, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of Zebra Matte Liner Highlighters. This is also my first experience of using these brush pens because I actually just arrived yesterday. So I am super excited about it and let's dive in and see what it's all about. So um, Zebra Mindliner brush pens come in three different colors, which are the same as three standard colors for their highlighters line. It's a cool pack, warm pack and neon pack. So right now there are only 15 colors available. So in case you're looking for a set of brush pens with a very elaborate palette, these ones are probably not the best choice, but if you're as much of a fan of uh, zebra colors as I am, then these brush pens might be just for you. Let's dive in. The first thing you notice when you take the brush pen is that it has exactly the same feel as the highlighter. So if you ever actually used Zebra highlighters, it will feel exactly the same in your hand, which is a great thing for a new brush pen. So it's already something you don't have to get used to. Lengthwise, the brush pen is a little bit longer than the highlighter, but it's still significantly shorter than uh, Tombow Dual brush pens, for example. So in case you are doing a lot of bullet journaling outside and you like to carry all your favorite supplies with you, these brush pens are gonna be great. So if we compare the brush pens with the highlighters, the first very startling difference is the cap, where Zebra highlighters have a white cap, the brush pens have a transparent one. Then, of course, the brush pens have a little sign of a brush pen on the cap. And finally, if you look from the top, highlighters have a little white circle, while brush pens have a full color top with the word brush on it. This is actually fantastic because that means that it doesn't matter how you store your supplies from any side, you will be able to tell whether you picked a highlighter or a brush pen. So the next thing I want to try is to compare this brush pen to a few of other brush pens which I have in my collection. This is actually also going to be the first time I'm trying to write with this one, so please be patient with me. First let me try different thickness of lines you can get with these brush pens and I would say the range is pretty good and the brush pen feels pretty good. It's not too soft, it's not too hard. For me, as somebody who's not really good at lettering, I'm just a beginner and I would say that this brush is pretty easy to control. Now let's compare it to a few other brush pens I own. The first one is Kuritake Fuda Biori. Uh, this brush pen actually has a pretty soft brush which for me makes it pretty difficult to control and you probably can feel that I still don't have a full control and I don't really use that brush pen too often. The second brush pen is um, Sakura Koi, which is definitely one of my favorite brush pens. I must say though that the tip of Sakura Koi is much smaller than the brush tip of Zebra Matte Liners. The next brush pen is Kuritake Brushables and I would say that the feel of Kuritake Brushables is quite similar to the feel I got from Zebra Mud Liners. And finally, uh, it's time for Tombow Dual Brush Pen and actually I must say that Tombow Dual Brush Pen is the one that feels the most like Zebra Mud Liner Brush Pens. So um, yeah, in case you ever used Tombow Dual Brush Pens, you probably already know more or less how it is to use a Zebra Mud Liner Brush Pens. Now, Zebra Mud Liner Brush Pens also come with a super fine tip, 
which I was a bit uh, confused about because we already have a fine tip on zebra highlighters. So I wasn't sure that's something pretty necessary, but um, let's give it a try and see how the fine tips compare. As you can see, my liner uh, brush pen fine tip is actually extra fine. Now let's try to compare it with uh, Tombow dual brush pens fine tip. And actually it feels pretty similar to Zebra My Liner brush pen. So in the end, I really would say that Zebra My Liner brush pen is more or less just like Tombow Dual brush pens, but a bit of a smaller size and of course in classic mud liner color scheme. And speaking of colors, why don't we get into the best part, which is making a swatch and check out how the brush pen colors differ from the original mind liner highlighters colors. Just a disclaimer to make sure this experiment is as clean as possible. I'm using a pure white paper so all the colors are pure and there is no any distortion of a color the way it might have been with ivory paper. Now, as you can see, most of colors came out just exactly the same as the highlighter colors, which is fantastic because these are absolutely my favorite colors. Uh, but it's really something to consider if you do need a set of brush pens of exactly the same colors as the highlighters you already have. Anyways, personally, I am absolutely in love with these brush pens. I'm really happy that I have my favorite highlighter colors now available in brush pens form. If you're as big of a fan of stationery as I am, I have a special playlist for you where I do reviews of different bullet journal stationery. And that's about it for today. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!